College Station, Texas is the home of the 12th man and the site for today's game. And now we bring you the coin toss that is presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Texas A&M is getting fired up down there as they get ready to boot this opening kickoff. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 26. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Marks gets the ball. He's taken down at the 37. That's not everyday speed you're talking about with this guy. This is a unique burst combined with a really impressive field vision. From their own 37-yard line, it's first down. Makes the catch and look out. Inside the 30. Brought down with only one man to beat. So what do you think of this receiver after that play? The quarterback made a nice throw, but it was the receiver who made this happen. That's a great way to make a statement. First and ten. Ball on the 23. Down he goes at the 15. Call it a gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. End zone. Guns it in there. Touchdown. Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. And the secondary didn't quite seem alert enough to defend that pass. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A four-play, 74-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. You know, you always prepare your offense to think that we're going to have some success. But these guys got to be coming over the sidelines after touchdown, after touchdown, saying, man, I, I didn't expect it to be this easy. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. And they make the stop right around the 24-yard line. Well, I, I think calling the plays, you've got to be aware of this guy. He's making too many plays. And when he's that close to the line of scrimmage, defending the run, not allowing your running back to even get up to the line of scrimmage, you've got to do something to make him pay for that. If he's going to cheat up to the line of scrimmage, if you're calling the plays, listen up. This is a great time to go play action and try to throw the ball right over top of his head. They'll work the left side. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's a gain of four on play. That makes it third and seven. From their own 28-yard line, it's third down. My 14, my 14. And two. Tackle made at about the 41. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. the middle for a nice game. That makes it second and six. From their own 45-yard line, it's second down. Here's an opening. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. And he's taken down at the 24.
So it's first and ten after the big run. Quick pass, tight end, and he wasn't ready for it. Here's an opening. He gets out to about the 14-yard line. From the 14-yard line. First down. They'll bring him down at about the 11. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Brought down around the 13-yard line. That is a loss of two yards. Third down. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Three down, three down. Mike six. Mike six. Dog four. Green nine. Muscle, 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 muscle. Yeah. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. Preston gains four yards on that reception. It's up, and he got it. And you gotta think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Bulldogs really got the job done on that first drive, and they took the crowd out of this thing. They sure did, and I was really impressed with the execution by the quarterback. It's tough to be able to communicate with your linemen and not to mention your wide receivers. I thought he did a very nice job of showing great poise, keeping his composure, and, and leading them to some points. We'll see what he can do here this next time out. Mississippi State holds a four-point lead. Wide open, incomplete. From their own 25-yard line, second down. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. Great effort here by the wideout to secure the ball and pick up some extra yardage. From their own 43-yard line, first down. Over the middle to his tailback. Tackle at the 49. Jones with the tackle at the 49-yard line. That'll bring up second and three. After a decent run up the gut. That makes it first and ten. From the 47 yard line, it's first down. And he's tackled right around midfield. And the linebacker comes up and makes a big stop. This is textbook. This is how you're supposed to play against the run. Mississippi State is up four. He laterals the ball, and they hit him in the backfield. 
It's never good for a back's confidence to get tackled for a loss. But this guy knows that he's got to just keep at it, and the holes will start to open up. They'll line it up again on third down. Pressure coming. Going long. Big yardage on the catch, and he's immediately pushed out of bounds. First down. Now it's first and ten with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. Tackled after a decent pickup. Tenth play of the drive. He's tackled around the six-yard line. They line up for another third down, and they've had no problem converting their first two. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. You know, as a defender, anytime you're not going to have a chance to get to the quarterback, one of the things all defensive coaches try to teach their defense is to get your hands up and try to knock the football away. And that time, that's exactly what they did to set up this fourth down. And it's through the uprights. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Gets out to around the 38. From their own 38-yard line, first down. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Call the loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. Pitches back. He's at midfield. He's at the 40. At the 30. And he's tackled at the 19. Let's see now how the defense responds to giving up the gain on the run. He makes it out to maybe the 16-yard line. Gain of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. Man left, man left. Three down, three down. Mike 14. Mike 14. Out of bounds at about the 13. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Quick pass, and he's pushed out of bounds, setting up a first and goal. And he is drilled at the four. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Two. 
That's a great tackle at the four-yard line. No games. That makes it third and goal. They're down a touchdown, so this is an important play. It's third and goal from the three. He scrambled. He's taken down at the two-yard line. He's scrambling, keeps it, and he's got a touchdown. When you're that close to the end zone, it's always a smart play to find your blockers and follow them into the end zone. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he hits the PAT. A 10-play, 75-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart up. It can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. Texas A&M, yet set to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Every drive's important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. Throws it deep. And he's got it. Going the other way now. He just jumped up and snatched that ball. Well, there, I don't think the quarterback even saw him. The defender went up into the air and made a great catch. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. He's at the 40. He makes his way to about the 32. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 32. Again, he'll get the call. He gets to about the 24-yard line. We've played one. This one's all even at ten. We're all tied up, and more action coming, hopefully, here in quarter number two. We're down, we're down. Mike 14, Mike 14. Red two. Smith gets a carry left side. He's knocked out of bounds at the 23-yard line. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Makes it to the 14. The defense doesn't seem to have an answer right now. They might need to change up some of their schemes. He's going to try and scramble. And down he goes at the nine. From the nine yard line. Second down. Now he's scrambling. And he's sacked. And that's a defensive end who was able to get him that time. It's pretty awesome when a freshman can work his way through the offensive line to get a sack like that. So we're looking at another third down here. Three down, 
As a defender, you want to keep your hands up. Maybe you can come away with a pick or at least deflect the ball. Texas A&M could take the lead with this field goal. He gets it up, and it is good. Small is lined up to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And down he goes at the 23. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. They'll get him for a loss. That was well defended by this defense. The offensive line is so concerned with their penetrating abilities that these linebackers are able to roam free and make plays like that. From their own 21-yard line, it's second down. Throws complete, and he stopped immediately. Number nine makes the tackle at the 27-yard line. That'll bring up third and six. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. It's first and ten. Ball on the 47. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. I don't think the play developed the way it was supposed to, and the net result is a loss. Hands it to the back, and they make the stop at the 48. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 43. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Fires quick. Tipped. This is a very well-coached defense. They know to get their hands up in the air and to try to knock down passes. Day to punt. Smith takes it at the 12, looking for the corner, and he's tackled at the 29-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Texas A&M holds a field goal lead. Good outside run there. That makes it second and six. From their own 33-yard line, second down. Feeds it to the back. Tackle made at the 36-yard line. Call it a gain of three yards. That makes it third and three. Quick strike to the receiver, and he's taken down around the 43-yard line. Brad, it's a, it's a first down, and, and a, obviously this offense right now is trying to maintain possession, trying to get some rhythm going, and for them to be able to pick up a big first down right here allows them to continue to try to get to the position that they ultimately want to get, and that's into the end zone. They'll bring him down around the 48-yard line. That makes it second and six. Second and six coming up here. Ball on their own 48.
He makes his way to about the 38. He's under pressure. From the 46-yard line, it's second down. Texas A&M is up by three. Another run. And now he's got room to run. The tailback picks up six there on the misdirection. And this play is number eight on the drive. the catch and gets out of bounds. From the 26 yard line, first down. He gets out to about the 25 yard line. Second and, nine. and this is the tenth play of the drive. They go to the back, and he's hit immediately in the backfield. This defensive lineman's got the kind of size and strength where he can disrupt the play all by himself. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. Throws complete, he's got room to work. He steps out around the 26-yard line. It's up, and it's good! Yeah, he got some good leg behind it, and he kicked an accurate ball right between the goalposts. 16-10, Texas A&M. Small gets set to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. What a collision! In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Rose, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 20. Tackle at the 20. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. This guy is very physical, and he does a good job of taking on blockers. Pass and he's right there to knock it away. The punting team's got to give their kickers some time. He really got a hold of that one. He's taken down at the 48 yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Texas A&M up six. And he's tackled around the 42-yard line. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Brought down at the 41.
tries to buy some time. And they got him. Call a loss of one yard on the play. That makes it second and ten. From the 42-yard line, second down. Three down, three down. Check 13. Green, nine, green. Yeah. He's tackled at about the 39-yard line. Cavalry's coming. This quarterback is tough as nails, Brad. He's going to sit in that pocket and give himself a chance. The only problem is, at some point, you've got to have a feel. Almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure, or just to throw the ball before you get hit. He steps up. Going for it all to the end zone. Oh, boy. Almost intercepted. Well, they decided to go for it, but the defense slammed the door on them. That's the definition of coming through when it matters most. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Quick throw out to the receiver. He's taken down at about the 47-yard line. So it's second down and about two yards to go. And he's hit immediately. Mississippi State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. job here by the defense if you let this quarterback set and throw he'll kill you all game but they got excellent pressure on that play from the 45 yard line second down under heavy pressure this one's going deep to the end zone he caught it touchdown to take the lead. Here's the extra point. And he hits the PAT. Mississippi State ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Boy, this is a competitive game. It's fun to watch these two teams go back and forth. Just when you think one team has the edge, the other gets right back into it. This is exciting. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. From their own 43-yard line, first down. Hey, kill, kill, kill. Back up. Yeah. Fires across the middle, and down he goes around the 44-yard line. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. He scrambled. And they make the stop around the 38-yard line. Easy, easy. Blair. Blair. Scrambling around. Tackle made at about the 37-yard line. Kill, kill, kill. Black five, black five. Great game in the works, folks, as we come to the end of the first half. 
17-16, Bulldogs. we played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. This game's been everything we anticipated it being. Each team matching each other blow for blow. Just a one possession game at this point. What do you expect to change things in the second half? Well, it, it's always it's always fun to watch two teams and two gangs ma match up the hype. And we, we talk about it all week and how big this game is. And it's going to come down to players making plays. And, you know, the, the big play is something that we continue to beat into the ground. And which one doesn't give that up? A lot of times, you know, games are lost and won by turnovers and, and giving it away and making that crucial mistake. You can do everything right and you can execute right, but it just takes that one misstep, that one turnover to, to really put you in a bad position or a bad situation that can determine this game. That's what it looks like it's going to. Both teams executing well. Who's going to make a big mistake? Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Kirk will be along in just a second. You're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here. Got a good, a lot of good games going. We're locked and loaded. We got all the big screens going. You're going to be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. Yeah. We're loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I'll try to. They stinky? <laughs> yes. Brad and Kirk, you're at a safe distance. Take it away. Great first half and a tight ball game. And we're set to start quarter number three. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. From their own 30-yard line, it's second down. Almost intercepted. The defense always likes to see a pass broken up, but getting the turnover would have been really big. He lost the ball. It's picked up by the defense. He really wanted that ball, didn't he, Kirk? Well, you can't teach hustle like that. The linebacker was determined to get the ball there, and he did. Chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. Mississippi State up a point. He fights forward to about the 33. From the 33 yard line, second down. Slings it out there incomplete. He makes it to the 32 yard line. It's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. Kicks up, and he splits the uprights. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20, and he has it on the corner. 
And down he goes at the 44. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Hands it to the back. Makes it out to about the 46. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Go the run and he's tackled in the backfield for a loss. That'll make it third and one. He gets out to about the 45 yard line. From the 45 yard line, it's first down. They hand it off. He's at the 30. He gets hit out of bounds. Right around the 26 yard line. and 10. Ball on the 26. He's going to try and scramble. And he's taken down at the 26-yard line. And pick up. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. He gets out to about the 11 yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. Gets the ball here and brought down in the backfield. Lost five on the play. That makes it second and 14. So it's second and 14. Ball on the 16-yard line. Nice run there. Tenth play of the drive. He steps up. He's in trouble. And he tackles him hard at the 14-yard line. So it's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here. Kicks away, and he's got it. Small looks ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Wow, close game here. And up and down the field with both these offenses matching what the others done. Well, it's fun to watch each offense get an opportunity to go out and make plays. And you're right, you almost feel as, as if one offense feels challenged and has to be able to bounce back, and they've done that. They're set to go for another round. 
They come out on an empty backfield. They'll bring him down around the 28-yard line. Three-yard gain by the running back. From their own 28-yard line, it's second down. Mississippi State with a one-point lead. Fires in a hurry. Interception. Not only did he demonstrate his leaping ability, but he also has the hands to be able to pull the ball in. Great job. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 46-yard line. Gets it out quickly. And he hits him hard at the 46-yard line. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Loss of one on the play. That makes it third and 11. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 36. Three down, three down. 14 the mic. 14 the mic. Here we go, here we go, here we go. X7. Motion, motion, motion. The defender had it and then dropped it. I'm not so sure he made the best decision that time. That was a pretty tight area he was trying to throw that one into. He's going to aim this one to the sideline, try to kick it out of bounds. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And the offense will take the field, and they're certainly hoping to do better than they did on their last drive, which ended with a turnover. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 25-yard line. Mississippi State is up one. Tackle around the 24-yard line. He wasn't decisive at all on that option. And once he kept it himself, there was no place to go. Well, the defense has done their job and made a nice stand. Now let's see if the special teams can come up with something here as well. Smith is back deep to return. Brought down at the 36. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He's got the corner. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. They're about four yards away here on second down. He's tackled at the 43-yard line. That's good for a gain of one yard. That'll bring up third and two. Looks to his receiver, first down. Brought down at the 50. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 50. Catches it, and he's looking for more. He's tackled right around the 44-yard line. That'll make it second and four. Hey. 
So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. He's taken down right around the 34. And down he goes at the 23 yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 23. Throws complete and he stopped immediately. Here's the eighth play of the series. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Dumps it complete, the tight end over the middle. Big play, and it's first and goal. And this is the tenth play of the drive. Gives it up the gut. They'll get him for a loss. Loss of two by the halfback. That brings him second and goal. It's second and goal. Ball on the seven yard line. He's scrambling. Decides to take it himself, and he's got it. Touchdown. They'll go for two in this situation. He's in for the conversion. They line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Nice run, and he's brought down. Hold on for a wild ride in the fourth quarter if this one follows suit. The Aggies lead 27-20. in this very pivotal fourth quarter. On the ground with the tailback. Tackle made at the 29. From their own 29-yard line. Third down. They make the stop at the 30. That's not going to move the sticks. Yeah, this defense played some sound football out there and did a good job of not letting them get into any kind of rhythm. Dave is waiting for the snap. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. Heading for the corner. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Texas A&M is up a score. Here's the handoff, and he's taken down for a loss. 
That is a loss of three yards. That makes it second and 14. From their own 36 yard line, second down. He fights forward to about the 39. That's a gain of three on the play. That brings up third and ten. Fires quickly and he's got his man. And he is drilled at the 42 yard line. That brings us fourth and seven. Griffin, the return man. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on their own 30. He's on the run. Nice gain as he works the right side. There's a very impressive open field tackle. The offense gets a first down here, and you got to give them some credit for it. But really, this is more about the defense. When, when a defense gets an offense to third down and medium, you've got to be able to put pressure on a quarterback, especially when they're passing the football, and try to get your own offense the ball back. And that time, they let their own offense down. From their own 43-yard line, it's second down. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Gain of six yards. That'll bring up third and four. Let's go, defense. Let's get out the field, defense. Two and four is the fight. He flings it over the middle. To the 20. And he's got the junior. And he's taken down at the 10. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That'll bring up second and three. And this play is number eight on the drive. Now he pitches it. Touchdown, Bulldogs. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he adds the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Gaining four yards. That'll make it second and seven. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 28. Red 2. 
He's on the run. And they got him. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. Third down and 11 coming up here. Ball in the 23. He's hit and taken down. From their own 43-yard line, first down. Makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. And he's hit immediately. From the 47-yard line, it's first down. Here's a screen pass, gets it to the back, and he's shoved out of bounds around the 46-yard line. That's a deal of one on the play. That brings up second and nine. Takes the ball right. Makes it out to about the 33. From the 33-yard line, first down. Nice run there. Tailback picked up seven on the draw. We're at play number nine of this current drive. They'll bring him down around the 16-yard line. First and 10, ball on the 16. Less than three minutes in the game. Makes it out to maybe the 13-yard line. Three-yard gain by the running back. Boy, this senior safety provides such solid run support. He stopped him in his tracks that time. This is the 11th play of this drive. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. And they got all the big boys in there for this one. Got the corner. Touchdown, Aggies! the handoff and knew exactly what to do with it. They like the fact that they have a halfback who can pick his way so well through defenses. And he converts the extra point. Small, ready to kick. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So now the offense comes back out, hoping for the same success they had on their last drive. Well, I think this defense has got to do something, because right now the quarterback is in such a good rhythm that you've got to do something to try to get him out of it. I would suggest trying to bring more pressure. 
try to come up with an exotic blitz look to try to get him on his heels as opposed to being the aggressor and attacking the defense. Just under two minutes in the game. Going deep, lays it out there. Tackle at the 26-yard line. Now it's first and ten after the big pass play. They'll spread the field with five wide. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. That's a great tackle at the 16-yard line. Number 24 makes the tackle at the 16-yard line. That'll make it second and inches. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. Quick pass, and he's right there to knock it away. Gives it off. He gets hit out of bounds around the one yard line. That makes it first and goal. It's first and goal, and they need a touchdown. level at the three the entire defense just collapsed on that run and got penetration into the backfield nice job by the safety to clean up the mess under a minute left touchdown mississippi state Have less than a minute to go. He makes the PAT. Just under a minute left in the fourth quarter, and this game hasn't failed to disappoint. It's locked up at 34. They line up to kick this one away. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. I think any good football team has to have an ability to answer, and that's exactly what we just saw. One team scores a touchdown, the other team comes right back and puts another touchdown on the board. This is getting exciting. Late in the fourth quarter in a one-possession game, and poise is what it's all about here. Who's going to have it and who won't? Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. From their own 22-yard line. Second down. He's going to try and scramble. Decides to slide. King gains around three yards on the scramble. There's a little bit of happy feet down there on the field. Let's get the call. False start. Offense. They'll give this one another try after the flag. And on third down, too. That's when you don't want those kind of things to happen. Third and 13. Ball on the 20. Just a tremendous play there late in the fourth quarter in a tie football game. And now it all comes down to the final seconds or overtime. Griffin back deep to return. Griffin fields it at the 39. He's taken down at the 47. They could take a shot or two, but with this little time left on the clock, 
and may just want to take a knee and play for overtime. We might have overtime in the back of our minds, but down on the field, that hasn't occurred to anyone. They want to end this thing in regulation. Throws complete, and he stopped immediately. The Bulldogs use their second timeout. From the 43-yard line, second down. This looks like their last shot to get it to the end zone. They'll make the sack. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush, because sacks can be real drive killers. Just a tremendous job by that defense, and their coordinator did a super job there to keep it this close in this ball game. and now the offense has got a chance to win it. Well, that's the end of regulation, and this game is still unsettled, so we're going to overtime. And here we are. We played four quarters, and we still don't have a winner, so we go to overtime. He's taken down around the 23-yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 23. It's caught, and he's brought down quickly. Nice run there as they work the outside. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Fires quickly, touchdown! He hits the PAT. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25. He's out of bounds around the 20 yard line. And he just gets rid of it. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Third and five. Ball on the 20. And he is drilled at the 14-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Here comes the pressure. Boy, well, the defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack. And somehow, he's able to throw the ball away. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 14. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. And they get a few yards on the halfback option. Rodgers off the fake. On play action, touchdown! Tonight's touchdown, but they still need the extra point to tie it up. It's a lot of pressure on a kicker. You never know about the jitters.
They call it a catch, but the booth signaled down to the referee that they'd like to take another peek at this. Man, as I see this play again, it really looks like he made the correct call on the field. To review, to review the, the play, play the, ruling the ruling on the field, field stands. stands. The ruling on the field will stand. He caught it. The only thing left to say about this play is that was an excellent catch. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he tacks on the extra point. Well, this is why I love the overtime rules in college football. Both teams had a fair shot at it, and they'll get another opportunity to try it again. From the 25-yard line, it's first down. Finds a man, touchdown. <laughs> and he adds the extra point. On the delay, he makes it to the 25-yard line. No on the play. That makes it second and 10. It's second and 10. Ball on the 25-yard line. Caught out in the open. Knocked out of bounds around the 10-yard line. Knocked out of bounds right around the 10 yard line. From the 10 yard line, it's second down. He's scrambling. They bring him down. And that's the defensive end who was able to get him that time. It's pretty awesome when a freshman can work his way through the offensive line to get a sack like that. to the halfback on the screen. He's pushed out of bounds at about the five-yard line. This might be their last chance. Fourth down. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. Really great game to watch. Both teams should be proud of their efforts in this one. Mississippi State, 48. Texas A&M, 41. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.